Hello. Yeah, okay. Make sure uh, this is another tutorial for, of course, my favorite program, Track the Scraps. Um, this one's going to be about loading your controller settings. If you got a specific controller settings, keyboard settings that you're used to, or you get on somebody else's computer and they got to try to even load those settings up so you work with fine. What I did, I saved a copy of my settings um, on my desktop before I started the tutorial. But you can pretty much, it could be in, on your desktop, on your external hard drive, wherever you like. You can open up preferences again. Come down to controller manager. Um, once you get over in this part, you can either physically make a new table, just if you want something quick where you know you got time to do all that. Or like me, what I like to do, I come up here to add, and I will go to import. And once you go to import, you basically just find out where your file is, your TSI file, which is your tractor settings file. And mine is on my desktop. So I will basically click on that, hit open, it's going to import it into this um, assignment table. And once it's here, it's pretty much it's live. So whatever controllers you have, whether you're using a keyboard, X1, any type of MIDI, because you know Tractor can control any MIDI uh, out there. Like I got a pad that I use, a uh, uh, key pad, 18 pad, an assignment page, I can use that. I got the little dicers for, you know, just depending on what kind of setup I need for the venue. So that's what you would want to do as far as getting your um, TSI program in there. And the same thing would go for, uh, like, if you're loading a collection or something like that, and you want to back up your collection, you pretty much would do it the same way. You can come here to import down here at the bottom. And when you hit import, it's pretty much going to bring up this. And... From this file, this is when you want to do the. Uh, the first file. Right now. From this file, you'll basically go to your collection. And that's that's like my the last backup copy I have, and you know you get a collection. Every time you save it, it goes in the system as you save. You don't have to keep all these files. You can you know delete them as you go along. And it basically just saves every set you ever did. So if you ever have it, you know, you'd be like, I did this one set, I can't remember what songs I played. You can always go back here. It's basically your history version of it. And it will get your track scratch code back to the last set you had. So that's how you would import the complete collection. And that's how you would put in your track or your, you know, your basic keys and your quick keys and stuff like that. Thank you. Oh, make sure y'all download my mobile app, man. It's in the Android market. Uh, type in DJ Ghost, one word. You're going to see DJ Ghost, a.k.a. Java. You know, I'll be doing my thing here and there. A little practice mixes I'll be loading up. And if you want to bring me to your city, just hit me up. You know, 6782DJ for you. You heard me, 6782DJ for you. You know, I do travel. Check me out, man. Shout out, take out squad. Two times for my dog, Nimmy Truth. Y'all live around, got a new album coming out. Stay tuned for that Hollywood. What's up? Walt Beasley HB on his way too. So we out here, man. Yeah.